Hello, my name is Peter Parfit and welcome to the Newbrook Workshop. Now, it's something slightly different today. I've been having trouble with my Windows laptop and uh, it was running out of memory. Its internal SSD was far too small, only 250 gigabytes, and it was starting to run very slow and I just wasn't happy with it. It was quite old anyway. So having taken all sorts of advice from all sorts of people, I've decided to jump ship and go to Apple. So I've bought myself an Apple M2 Pro mini computer and it goes with my existing monitor but I've had to buy a new keyboard and new mouse and I'll come to that in a minute. Anyway I've set it all up but let me just take you back a little bit uh, to the unboxing stage. Now I ordered direct from Apple but because uh, my specification wasn't the standard spec of what you'd find in the Apple store uh, this machine has actually been assembled in China. It's come in a very neat box. It's taken about uh, five or six days to arrive since I ordered it and I've not had to pay for shipping because I chose the cheapo uh, zero cost option. So here is the machine and this is the end they wanted it to be open from. Nothing else in there. Typical Apple, there's a sort of peel off thing here which then allows you to get into the next stage of the box and also one there. So th those come off and that then means I can now lift the lid -hoo -hoo! and there is this <laughs> rather tiny computer. Now <laughs> the spec is amazing. It's got an M2 Pro chip, 32 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte a solid state hard drive, all in that little box. Pouch, which I imagine has got the quick start guide. Well, I'm not quite sure what these things are. I'll look at those shortly. And that's that little envelope. And there is a mains lead with a UK plug. Obviously, if you're buying one of these for the American market, it would have a, a US plug and so on. And, and that's it. That's all that's in the box. Right, well, this is the old computer setup. This computer is an Asus uh, computer. It's got a Core i7 processor. I think it's 16 gigabytes of RAM. It could be eight and one running Windows 10. Uh, but it's struggled. Uh, its uh, main uh, drive is a 250 gigabyte SSD, which I thought would be more than enough, but it's practically full and uh, some of the stuff to offload it onto the ordinary hard drive which is in here slows things down just too much. So anyway, so this is now going. Now that, that's my monitor connection and one of the dongles here is for my wireless uh, keyboard and mouse. I've always bought Logitech uh, keyboards and mice and I've got a new one ready in the drawer for the Apple. So. Here's the apple coming out of its box. I'm just going to have a look at the quick start guide, uh, which is extremely simple. It says, welcome to your Mac. Press the power button to start the Mac Mini. Setup Assistant helps get you up and running. Well, that's about it, really. <laughs> and the rest is built into the machine. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I've got to do some connections first. Now, I don't know at this stage whether my monitor, which is a relatively old Samsung monitor, I don't know whether it is going to actually be able to work with the Mac. So this may come to a, a shuddering halt very quickly. That's the protective cover that came over the whole thing. And there's, a, there's another peel-off strip here. which then reveals all of the various ports. First of all, power. Uh, there's a port there if you want to connect it directly uh, to your uh, router or local area network. There are one, two, three, four Thunderbolt ports there, an HDMI port and two uh, USB ports. And I think those are USB three ports, if I remember correctly. And below that is a little headphone socket. And there's an on off switch just there. So pretty nifty neato, all in such a small package. So the first thing I'm gonna do is connect the monitor. That's connected. 
the power cable and I've got a place at the back here to plug this in. So that's plugged in and I've connected the power cable. At the moment there's no power going to the actual machine. I've got an on off switch there um, on the back there and I've got to switch that. And here's my uh, new keyboard, again Logitech, and it's the K380, and it's designed to work with the Mac because it's got all the right key functionality, which is important. And again, although I've opened this to look inside, I've not actually got the whole thing out. So, and so there is the keyboard. I need to take it out of its little plastic wrapper. And here's the mouse, and again, uh, this is made to match. These two match each other. So there's the new mouse and keyboard. They've both got batteries inside. And there's another little plastic bit over the wheel. There are two batteries there and they are now connected. So that's a pretty neat keyboard. But it's interesting, I compared the actual spacing between there and there with my old keyboard, the big keyboard, and it's exactly the same. Uh, and I never ever use the number keypads on the right. So I thought, well, why not get a small keyboard? So everything's sitting here. So I think now all I need to do is to turn the power on to the computer. First of all, I switch my own switch, which provides power then to the monitor. And then I'm gonna feel for that little on off switch here, which I've pressed and we'll see what happens. I can hear uh, something happening inside there. Ooh. And it's just said hello in English followed by various other languages. I'm just going to press, press that. Language, English. Yep, so we'll move to the next stage. It says to pair a Bluetooth keyboard, turn it on and wait for the computer to connect to it. I'll turn it off and then back on again. I've turned it off. And it's back on again. Right, select your region. Preferred language is English. Input is British. Dictation, yep, that's all okay. Now, there were one or two settings I didn't show. You've got to give your Apple ID at one stage and you've got to uh, do a few other little security things. And I didn't intend showing those. But I hope you can see that the setup process was pretty simple. Even I managed it. Now for my video work, I use SD cards in the camera and there's no SD slot on this. But I've got this little gadget. I bought it from Amazon a long time ago. And it's got a Thunderbolt um, connector here and it's got two USB ports here, another one there. And it's got an SD card slot and also the micro SD card slots there. So I can plug this into the back of uh, this computer and uh, transfer any data I like. I've also got, um, I've had it a very long time as well, this 250 gigabyte solid state drive. And again, with the Thunderbolt uh, connector on the end. So I've got several gadgets which are left over from the old days, which will work perfectly well here. Now I'd like to just mention my friend, Andrew, who actually encouraged me uh, to make the change. I'm so glad that I have. Now, I didn't intend to give you any form of review of this or any of the technical stuff. There are plenty of people out there on YouTube who will give you all of the gigabytes and megapixels and all the rest of it. Well, go and find them. I'm just telling you what I've been up to and how happy I am with the purchase. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>